This is a quick bike check for my Highland Trail 550 race bike. Um, as you can see, it's something a little bit new. So this is the new Mason Raw. Uh, it's a new bike from Mason, mountain bike, obviously. Steel hardtail. Um, it shares a lot of the, the tubing from the ISO, uh, which is the kind of the long distance um, adventure bike. Um, but it fits a suspension fork on there. So it's 120 mil. There's a RockShox sit in there. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's designed for long distance, cross country hauling, I suppose. So the group set on this is good old reliable Shimano Dior XT. So this is the, the one by 12. I've got a, a 50, I think it's a 51 on the back. Um, I've not used it yet. So uh, I live in the east of England, so I've not found the need. Um, and then I've got a 34 tooth chain ring up front. Um, and obviously it's got a clutch mech on there just to keep the chain nice and taut on the descents. And then I've got the uh, SLX brakes on there. Again, super tried and tested, really reliable, and I wouldn't really use anything else. The wheel set, uh, this probably isn't the wheel set I'll use for the race. I've got another one coming, um, which is more of a, a slightly wider rim, um, but they're custom carbon wheels from, from Hunt um, using the, the trail hubs and a Son 28 um, front dynamo hub. Uh, so I've got it linked up. Um, to the exposure Revo and then I've also got the, uh, the sine wave reactor just in, the, in there to charge my, my gadgets. In terms of gadgets, um, I use a Wahoo Element. I've used this, this particular one. I've, I've used for loads of stuff. GB Duro, Tour Divide, just keeps on going so um, hopefully it will continue to do so. Um, I've got the trusty old Casio watch. Again, this is done Tour Divide, GB Duro, and the numerous other events. And that's how I wake myself up in the morning. Tires and saddle are both WTB. Um, so at the moment I've got WTB's Ranger on, which is, um, this one's 2.4. Although I think for the race, I'm probably gonna run a 2.25 because I've got those wider rims coming. Um, so I should get the same overall volume um, and width of the tire, uh, but a bit less weight. Um, and then I think it's the Silverado saddle with the chromoly rails. Uh, again, tried and tested, it uh, works well for me. Uh, that's on a dropper post. Uh, this is an X-Fusion one. Um, and then the bars and stem are both from Richie, who are another long-term sponsor of mine. And then all the bags are Miss Grape. Um, as this is a, a brand new bike, um, I've, this is the fir literally the first ride, um, just over two weeks out from the race. Um, so I've used the custom bag off my ISO, so it doesn't quite fit properly on this bike. Unfortunately, it's a bit longer at the front. Um, however, it does give me quite a handy little inner tube storage space in there. Um, this frame is the first of the Masons to have a uh, direct mount um, top tube bag, which is, is really good for mountain biking because obviously it rattles around a lot. And normally I find they slide a bit. So I've got this uh, Miss Grape race bag on there. Um, and then I've got the Miss Grape, um, it's a fully waterproof. This is their road saddle pack um, with a little 76 Projects adapter for the dropper. So I can actually drop the, the post and the bag doesn't get in the way. Um, and then up front, another Miss Grape bag. Again, tried and tested, um, you know, it works really well for me. So in terms of gear, um, in the, the rear, I've just got my sleeping system. Um, I've actually got a jacket. Um, I've, I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna take just yet. It depends on the forecast, um, but I've got a Patagonia um, Nanotech jacket um, with a hood on there. Um, and then I've got my bivvy. Um, I've just gone for a, a bivvy um, and a sleeping mat with the warmth provided by my clothing because um, I don't think we're going to be stopping very much um, and there's quite a few bothies en route as well. Um, so quite a lot of potential for shelter. Um, so if it's wet, I've just got to carry on and keep warm basically. So as I already mentioned, the frame pack uh, is a custom one I actually had made for my ISO. Um, so it's not perfect for this bike, um, but I've got all my sort of quick to hand gear in here. So I've got a DHB um, Aeron um, showerproof uh, gilet. That's handy just to put on where the weather's a bit changeable and it's not really fully waterproof weather. Got my Descent 133 um, waterproof gloves. Again, tried, tested, they've done tour divide. They've been down to sort of minus eight on, on the divide with just an under glove and the, my hands were warm. So I trust them. Arm warmers, knee warmers, um, I've got these, these Aeron mitts from DHB and I've also got an Aeron trail which is a bit sort of wind resistant glove so it's kind of good in the, in the evenings when it's not really raining you don't really need full warmth. Um, I've got a little Fidewell Musette just to 
shove stuff in the shops. Suntan cream, the irony of that. Um, but even when you're cycling around Scotland, even if it's overcast, you can get burnt. Got a buff, um, just a plug. Uh, waterproof socks, again, they're quite big and chunky, but they're worth it. And I've also got a little stove with me um, because I've got a few ready meals because it can be quite remote and isolated. And then just my tool pouch and a few tubes in there. Um, while we're on the subject of clothing, um, what I'm wearing now, um, this is my sort of go-to kit. So I've got the brand new uh, DHB Air on Lab um, Polartec base layer. It's really good at, at sort of managing uh, moisture, which is obviously pretty good when you're going to be stuck in it um, for probably three or four days non-stop. Um, tried and tested DHB Air on Ultra jersey. Um, again, it dries well, um, comfortable, got pockets and everything you need. Um, and then I use the DHB uh, lab uh, lightweight bib short um, which which you know works for me um, shorts are personal and I, I like them laser helmet mountain bike helmet with a peak um, it's quite remote quite rocky on the Highland Trail 550 so I've gone for something with a little bit more protection um, obviously look rad I think the mountain bikers say <laughs> and then my Oakley's um, with interchangeable um, photochromatic, photochromatic lenses then I've also gone for Shimano ME5 shoes, there's so much hiker bike on the HD 550. So these are comfortable, flexi, um, and they've got rubber, rubber soles on, so loads of grip. Onto the top tube bag, obviously the GoPro, which I'm holding, is in there. Um, and there's just little things like lip salve, um, obviously uh, topical hand sanitizer from Mokoff, another of my new sponsors. Um, while I'm on the subject, subject of Mokoff, um, I use the Hydro Dynamic Chain Lube. Um, I've actually been using this for, for about probably four years, um, but now it's an official thing, which is kind of nice. Um, and then I've got toothpaste and, you know, boring stuff like that in the top tube bag. Um, feed pouch, I've got basically the first sort of, first slash second day's worth of snacks, um, raw velo bars chocolate M&Ms, things like that, which kind of don't melt and I know work for me and give me a good boost. Um, the idea is that um, because the, the race is fairly remote, uh, I'm probably going to take quite a bit of food to start with, um, especially given the COVID situation. I'm not quite sure which hotels um, on the route are going to be open, which shops are going to be open, if there's restricted hours. Um, and of course, there might be a capacity. And if you're racing, you want to you keep going through and not to wait an hour for a table. Um, so yeah, I'm taking food. The final bag is obviously this front bag. Um, I've actually got a little prototype um, support under there. Um, just uh, bolts into the bottom of the fork there and just stops the bag bouncing because it, it is a pet hate of mine, especially on a, on a rough trail um, like the Highland. Um, and then in here, basically, I've got some food, um, fruit and nuts, always good. Uh, jelly babies, cannot go wrong with jelly babies. Um, and then just some, some gear, waterproof shorts. These are actually, um, they're, well, they're not waterproof shorts, they're meant to be waterproof trousers, but I've cut them off of this kind of long three quarter lengths, um, just so I can chuck them over the top there, their uh, DHB flashlight commuting trousers. Um, so hopefully they'll hold up to it. Um, I'm not quite sure the material is designed for what I'm gonna do to it, but there we go. Um, I've got a DHB Lab um, long sleeve windproof jersey. It packs down really small. You know, I've used this on Tour Divide. I've used this, um, well, pretty much all winter. Um, so I, I know it gives a lot of warmth for the weight um, and it's sort of slightly shower resistant too. So, you know, when you're up in the, in the, the Scottish Highlands, weather can happen, so you need to be prepared. Talking of weather, I've got my rain jacket. This is a DHB Trail jacket with a hood. It's not the... Um, the lightest one um, but it's got quite a thick fabric um, and it's got this kind of um, textured finish which helps keep the heat in so I'm probably going to use that unless there's a heat wave in that case I might take a slightly lighter one but um, you know when you're up in the, the mountains you, you don't really want to take risks um, so I'll probably keep the heavier jacket in there just in case um, the rest of the the bag is is basically food um, as I said I've got a couple of meals um, I use the uh, <clears throat> the uh, expedition foods I used them on GB Giro and was self-sufficient for eight days um, it kind of gave me a bit of a different sort of take on on how to support myself in a long distance race 
So I've got these, so I'm looking forward to a uh, thousand calorie chicken korma with rice somewhere up a Scottish Glen somewhere. Um, so yeah, downside is I've got to carry the weight, but um, I, I think I've got enough to sort of, you know, balance the carrying the weight for, for not having to stop and keep the energy up because last time I did the race, I got very hungry. And there we have it. That's my brand new Mason Raw mountain bike, ready for the Highland Trail 550. Um, hopefully um, it goes well. Hopefully the bike performs well. After the first ride, I'm pretty sure it will. Um, so yeah, hopefully you like the video. Share it if you did, give us a thumbs up and all of that stuff and uh, speak to you soon. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.